It is. It has been a little bit since we did one of these. I think I think last time we did one of these, we said we were going to do one of these. We we're going to start doing these regularly again. Well, we got kind of busy. I don't know if you like things. Look, look, making games is hard. I don't know if anybody ever told you that. But you, when you started here, you're like, hey, we're going to come in. Making games is a piece of cake. You're going to have a good time. It's going to be great. It's all uh, every everything. Everything's easy. You just say, hey, here's I think the game should be this. And then the game is that. And it's straightforward. and You're done. Ship it. As a CEO, that is what it's like. You're just like work harder. <laughs> it's not what it's like. Uh, hi everybody. Uh, we, I'm Will. He's Chet. I am Chet. Foul took, suck. Yeah, I took the names off beforehand, but uh, we we have we're things are cranking. We've been busy. We just come and came off yes. of the the. I, they don't call it the Thanksgiving. I think they call it the Autumn Steam Sale, conveniently located around Thanksgiving. People, lots of new users. Lots of new people playing the game. Uh, had a couple of big updates uh, leading up to that. Which is pretty exciting. Uh, I unfortunately my notes are on the screen that I can't uh, show now because they're uh, the I'm capturing that to make this video. So uh, well, anyway, mistakes were made. We'll Wait, get so there. All of our note taking we just spent like the last four hours doing. You yep. cannot view. Yep, I've jacked it up again. Uh, but but uh, but uh, we we're going to talk about the things that are in the update, including Steam Workshop so, support. All right. I say the biggest, the absolute biggest thing, yeah, by far, is mm -hmm. Steam Workshop support. It's very exciting. Now, we are going to have cross-platform mods that everybody can play and participate in, but we need to start somewhere, and we need to start building up the content that's in the marketplace. So right now, right, we have we have two mods that are built into our game. You, when you download the Anacrusis, you can go into the community tab, and there's two maps that you can, or episodes with multiple maps that you can play inside of there. They're awesome. They're great, but that is not the way we want to be able to give you these items. We want to be able to go through a marketplace, a, a, a um, workshop. And so we're starting with the Steam workshop. And so everybody on Steam can pick what they want to subscribe to, download it, and it's local. Um, if you're on other platforms, um, some of them you can now see that content available, but you won't be able to pick it for yourself. You're just coming. We love you guys. It's coming. We just wanted to first stand this up and get it going. Um, and as always, we like to put things into the game, start getting feedback and start working on it. And already some stuff started coming into the, the workshop. We've got another full episode, which is super awesome. And another, uh, holdout map, uh, by CJ again. As yeah. Well so, some other fun stuff. So, um, holdout, uh, CJ's, CJ's holdout map is called infest. Uh, you're going to play it. I think you said tomorrow, Thursday night. Thursday night, um, Hannah is a streamer that I've played uh, the Anacrus with a couple times. We're going to surprise her um, in the Steam Workshop. If you look and see that there's a little uh, husky, uh, that's her husky. And it's named after oh, her husky. And so we made it as a little gun charm for her. Gun charms are really easy to make. And um, head attachments are really easy to make. So we made her a little gun charm that is her dog. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so... On that front, okay. So, oh, hold on. CJ's map is called Infest. It's in the it's in the workshop now. Henning three seventy three is the other map. Uh, made the other map that's in there. His their map is called Array Containment. It's a it's a campaign. It's two episodes, two levels. You go through. There's a stuff happens. I love what they've done with like they took the same pieces that we used to make the base game of the Anacrusis and made something that is completely different and it's really exciting to, it was really fun to play really had a blast playing he really leans into like the kind of 70s weirdness so there's some graphical stuff that he's doing there there's also a second map that's just between those that he wasn't comfortable shipping yet that he will be updating soon so there is more coming um but it's it's really good it's and, really good and and again the reason these are out on steam workshop now is so that these people who are making these maps ha maps have a place to test them they want to they want to get feedback it's much easier for us to say hey download this in steam and go hit the subscribe button in steam workshop and then load up a custom campaign than it is for them to like send people people zips of pack files and have to copy them into a folder and all that stuff so uh yes. so so that's the maps so th those are getting up and remember um more than happy grab it on steam if you want but also like our larger community is on game pass in general and so that's why it's really important for us to try to get it over to over everybody on game pass as well uh we're excited about that um but steam is kind of a good kind of like um preview release in a way because the smaller community over there on steam growing the steam like i said steam sale that we just had was really good 
Um, so it's growing, but still it's a smaller community than we have on Game Pass. So it kind of gives us feedback from a smaller group of people. It grows over time. And yeah, it's going to be great. Well, and then the other thing is in the next update, we hope if everything goes well, if you're playing on Game Pass, if you're playing on, on uh, have a Microsoft Store version of the game, you also have the WinGDK version. You should, uh, which is available through the Microsoft Store on PCs. And you should be able to play the, you, should, you won't be able to select mods there and you won't be able to play custom maps, but you will see cosmetic stuff. When you're playing yes. with people on Steam, their cosmetic stuff will show up for you, which is kind of exciting. And 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 like, I think people are going to be really surprised when they load up their their game with their friends, and all of a sudden somebody has a big giant monkey head or a different hat or you know all sorts of different oh, options. So that's an important difference here. Then, so I worked on Left 4 Dead in the Left 4 Dead um, um, workshop. When you download something, only you see it, right? You're choosing your client's view and only you see what you see. So if you're going to be Ellis and you're going to instead be a droid, only you see it. For us, what happens is actually before the game starts, um, the game looks and goes, hey, what? do you have anything weird? Do you have anything weird? Do you have anything weird? Okay, let's, let's download all of that so everybody can see each other's stuff. And then you actually get to see. So if I choose to be Lance and I'm going to wear... Yeah, if I did a skin where I'm Kleiner, um, everyone's going to see me as Kleiner um, because I'm wearing that skin. And so it's who you play as gets to determine what skin gets applied to that character. And then if you load in in game, like if the game's already going and you load in, there'll be a little pause. Not, there's no pause, but like a little in the background, it'll be downloading those and getting those set up. And then people will eventually see your stuff. Um, and so that is a big difference in how it worked on uh, Love for Dead. And I think really important difference because that kind of lets you be you and kind of show off who you want to be and kind of play in and lean into that. Exactly. Um, so, OK, in addition to maps, uh, we have uh, hats or head attachments. So like uh, glasses, hats, um, all, all sorts of different things. The hats are a little challenging because the hair is we're, we're still figuring out how the hats work. But like you can you can get all kinds of glasses. You can get um uh, I assume somebody's gonna make a beard at some point. I like I, I'd wear a beard attachment, I guess. Um, other stuff, gun charms, uh, and jewels. Jewels. Uh, one of our artists, Jules, did a uh, how to to teach people how to make gun charms uh, using the the toolkit that we provide. You bring in whatever whatever mesh you want and how to skin it and get the get the material set up right for that, which was really cool. And it, it's like it it is it is uh, it seems very it seems like a very straightforward process, which is exciting. Um, yes. And so right now, if oh. you want to, oh, go ahead. So if you want to join us and be making mods, or are we going to say that? Did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. That's what uh, I was going to say. But is just contact us on discord.gg slash Jerry Bombay. Say you want in or fill out or go hit, I think, exclamation point mods. And uh, it will take you to a sign up form. Uh, we're still in beta on the tools. So the tool used to be 340 gigs or something crazy because I had to download the whole game and raw assets and all of this. We do it differently now. It is a much smaller package. It's like 40 gigs. 50, um, I think. 50, yeah, 40, it's still big. 42, it's still big because yeah. it's still, unlike Steam, where, or unlike, excuse me, Source Games, where you can pull the asset from the live game, we actually have to give you the assets again. Um, but it's much smaller. A um, bunch of people have requested it. We're almost full in the beta, but we still have a little bit of room there if you want to join in. Uh, yeah. Soon we will have that out on uh, available on the Epic uh, Game Store in general. But for right now, we just need a little bit more time. We've gone from like 1.2 war zones to 0.2 war zones. We're pretty excited about that. We think it's a good, we think it's a good a good change. Uh, and I, I think uh, Dan thinks that there's some opportunity to bring it down even a little bit, a little, little bit smaller uh, at some point in the future. So we know SSD space is precious. Yeah, um, and it's also we, we want to make sure that you can pick the thing like you can make what you want to make and have the um, tools available to the, the content available to you. So we'll start probably splitting that up and things like that. Yeah. And uh, so we're working on the process to make the mod tools accessible to the general public soon. Uh, don't have a timeline for that yet, but, but like sooner rather than later, I think is safe to say at this point we're, we're yeah. in, in the process and we're working with our friends at Epic on that right now. Um, and, and, and we, uh, one of the questions we get a lot is why are this tools on Ep the Epic store it's it's just that's just a licensing requirement for Unreal. It's, we we they distribute their editor through their store, and this is our our tool is a version of their editor. So that goes on their store, yeah. uh, even if we're distributing the mods through Steam or whatever. If you just want to play the mods, you don't have to fool with that. 
you can just click subscribe in Steam Workshop on anything you're interested in, and then it'll show up in your loadout page or in the map page, depending on, on which kind of mod it is. So yeah. Yeah, but the, the editing tool is a modified version of the Unreal Editor. So it is it is beefy that way, that it's got a lot of functionality. You've got blueprints and other things available to you. You can do some crazy cool stuff. And some of the some of the mappers have definitely started doing that. So, so in some ways, it is more full-featured than source modding was, just in a different kind of way. You're working in a... a a slightly changed version of the same tools that like our level level designers and stuff like that. And our, our character artists work in. Yeah. Um, okay. So other stuff that's come out since up, update six uh, discord integration. Yes. This is a big deal. Cause now you can go into a discord, any discord channel you want, you're playing the game. You hit the little button next to the chat window and you can drop a game invite in that other people in that discord can just click into, which means um, you, we, we've, we've matchmaking has been a little bit up and down lately. We're still working on some stuff there. Uh, but it's easy to get into games with people cross platform by hitting the button in an LFG group or whatever, and you can just you could just play. It's yep. very easy, and that that works cross platform. Mm -hmm. And that actually shows a kind of an important thing about our Discord. Uh, come join us on our Discord. We do more than just play the Anacrusis. We play all kinds of game. In fact, tonight we're playing Deep Rock Galactic with a mod that allows eight players. Um, we do a lot of that because we learn how to like what what we learn from other games of like how to connect to people what's cool things that they're doing. And I think Deep Rock Galactic is the first place that I really saw a really good uh, Discord integration where you just drop it in. It's the same kind of thing. You see a lobby, you can join my lobby once it's up. So like that's kind of stuff is cool. Um, and, you know, we're, we're honest about it. There's a lot of games getting released right now in this season. And so we're playing a lot of games and playing a lot of different games. Um, so come join us and uh, tell us what to play and we'll play it with us. Come it's, hang out. I would say generally a focus on co-op and mods, but kind yes. of any, anything like we like weird games is kind of, kind of the thing I, I like to, I like to think so. Um, yeah. So please come check, come check that out. The URL is discord.gg slash stray Bombay. Uh, everyone's welcome. Be, be kind to each other. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a nice community where everybody understands we're just playing to have fun um and, and hang out together and then the other thing we haven't talked about a whole lot yet are the holdout revisions um that we did with uh, i guess they started with update six and we did a couple uh, we made some changes to them with the 6.1 and the hot fixes in between six and and now uh but but it's i think it's i think it's interesting i think we should talk about the process for that because holdout has been they've been basically three big different cha versions of holdout one the first one the game just went forever theoretically if you were good at the game but in reality most people would get killed at about the eight or ten minute mark because the difficulty ramped up really hard there so it was like kind of because that was the version that the group that i play with the most once you got over that eight to ten hump you went on forever because the perks became so powerful and everything that was available to you um it just went on forever and for us, it's always about like put something in the game, start getting feedback, start to see how people play it, start understanding, um, you know, what's really going on there. And that's a good example of it, of we put up, we essentially put up a mirror of what we had done in um, Left 4 Dead. I was, uh, worked with uh, a couple of people over at Valve when we put um, the holdout mode in Left 4 Dead. And it was just kind of mirroring that as a starting point, knowing that's not where we wanted to go. We had we'd also played a lot of things like Killing Floor, uh, Call of Duty, a lot of other things that just have different modes like this. And so we wanted the most basic to start and see how it fit our game because every game is different. The tools you have to combat this are different. And so then, um, yeah, we decided we really like the, we really like having an ending. We really like having a round based system and we really like having to move around the map. And so all of that's in there now. And now we also, the most recent version, there's a boss creature at the end, uh, Mr. Brute. <laughs> it's a giant brute. Uh, if he touches you, you die. It's the idea that you can run away from him, but if he gets close enough to you, you you're going to be in a lot of pain. So you have to kill everything else around you so that you can keep moving. It is a stand in, and it's a great example of how we like to work. It is a larger size brute, but it's a brute with some different colors. Purposely, we put in the stupidest, easiest thing. People who have ripped open the pack have seen we actually have a other boss creature out there that we've done some artwork on and some animation on. Uh, I didn't want to release that yet because we we're like, well, is this fun? Is this right? What do we, what are we wanting to see out of this creature? What are we wanting to try? Uh, we're also going to try some experiments where there is a certain other creature that we don't talk about that you may be seeing or not seeing. And what if you also knew how to fight 10 of those? 
Um, that would be a different kind of thing, right? And so we're going to keep experimenting with that. So give the holdout a try. Give us some feedback on it and see what you think. Yeah, it's it's um it's it's been funny. It's been fun because it has it has literally had the three just like no waves, then waves, but no end. Then it's just uh, now it's just five rounds. But Mister Brute will womp you if he gets if he gets gets his hands his big meaty hands on you. It's a large chunky boy. Uh, I think that's I think that's it. I think that's the high 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 points of stuff. We've been kind of doing some other stuff behind the scenes that we're not really talking about right now, as we often do. Well, also, I guess I would just say is um, now that we really, really, I know, I know we said this before, really want to start getting back and doing these more regular frequent, more the regular frequency. Let us know what you'd like to hear. Uh, we're happy yeah. to dive in on it and uh, go deeper. We're coming up on a, we're, oh. as we record this, we're a month and a week from the first anniversary of the early access launch of, of the Anacrusis. So um, we, 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 did we uh, and the, the, the request for feedback comes on all fronts, like not just these videos, but. You know, what you want to see in the game, what what you're enjoying, what you like about the workshop stuff, what you what new categories of mods you're interested in. Where you know the the Unreal Engine choice kind of constrains some of that stuff a little bit, but but it's surprising what we can do if there's interest in it. So yeah, and that's um so yeah, I almost I, I'm bad at celebrating birthdays and, and anniversaries and stuff. But um so January 13th, because we thought the 13th was a lucky number. Um we released since then we've done over 20 updates we named them by major updates so according to that we've done six we'll do seven we have a seventh one coming ah with some cool stuff in it um and that's that's really kind of like you know our thing of like let's just keep updating let's just keep making the game better let's just let's keep listening to the community and so that's where you guys play a role and been super helpful so thank you guys for being on this journey for a year yeah and um if you want um I forgot what I was going to say. Completely lost the thread there. We'll have to jump. Candy? I do like candy. Uh, no, I was going to say we need to um, wrap up the video, but there was something I wanted to do before we wrap up the video. Let me look at my notes. Sorry. Christmas coming. Oh, birthday Christmas is coming. coming. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And the holidays are just around the corner. And because of the mod, the Steam Workshop support and uh, some other stuff that's happening behind the scenes, we are going to have some stuff to celebrate the holidays in available to players this year. I don't know if it's going to be in the game or in the workshop or maybe both. Uh, but but you'll be able to get. I don't know. I like. Look, I want. I want. What is what is Lance wear for Christmas? With space Christmas? Is it space Christmas? Is it is it seventies Christmas? What what is it? I don't know. What, what do calendars mean in the middle of space? I don't know. Are they really all still just sticking to the Earthbound calendar? Look, sure. It's, it's been it's been sure. eleven eleven point two megaseconds since our last celebration. That's the thing you have to remember. It's it's everything's just based on seconds at that point. It's decimal seconds. It's swatch internet time, but in space. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, um, holiday stuff. We're gonna have some candy canes. I want candy canes, chat. That's that's yeah, you really request. have been pushing the candy canes, haven't you? Look, it's Will likes it's to festive. push the candy canes on one hand and then say how horrible of a candy they are on the other. I so just, it's a confusing it's, time for us here at the end. It gets stuck in your ear. It's gross. Nobody wants that. Get all gooey stuff around the mustachial region. But also, if you want, if you're an artist and you want to have some christmas cheer uh you can put it into our game um oh, Hanukkah just go over to this workshop too. like we're we're open to all sorts of things but yeah, yeah. put it in the workshop but you don't have to ask us for, like once you get the mod tools you don't have to ask us permission you just put it up there we can't do anything i mean we can but we're probably not going to do anything we absolutely will yeah. do something if it's legally actionable let me put it that way but if it's not legally actionable and in relatively good taste or even in bad taste but funny we're probably okay with it so let it rip that's it that's it for us today i think chad you got anything else no, like you, 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 you covered it. If we don't see you all before Thanks, the holidays, everybody. have a yeah. lovely holiday season. And we will see you with an update before the holidays, though. So um, look for that. Oh, yeah, it's only the 6th. I keep thinking it's like the week before Christmas. Bye, everybody.